Okay, so the story about the mermaid. So this is a two-part story. The first time I saw a mermaid was by myself, and then the second time was with my best friend, Darlene. So she lives in New York right now, so I actually recently spoke with her because I wanted to make sure that what I saw was exactly what she saw. And since we were children, I wanted to make sure her recollection was still the same, right? So we spoke about it, and indeed, she agreed that she actually saw the same thing. So I'm going to tell you my part of the story, and maybe I'll make another video about the day that both of us saw the, the mermaid together, right? So in Haiti, usually they will send you to go get collect water in the river. So in the river, on the side of the river, there's usually this little area where you can like dig up a hole and then it'll make like fresh water and you can collect that water and drink that water because that water is good. But in the river, you can wash your clothes and all that stuff, right? So one day I was sent to go collect water with my cousin and my cousin decided he wanted to go for a swim. So since usually we usually go to the river and go for a swim and all that stuff and then we'll collect the water or we'll catch the fish or whatever to bring home to cook. So that day, he wanted to go swim, and I said, okay, I'm going to be the responsible one, and I was like maybe like eight or nine, nine years old. I was going to be the responsible one and go collect the water. But as I'm collecting the water, there was this like this one tree that was literally in the middle of the water, but the, the um, leaf of the tree was hanging over, and you can kind of like grab on the tree and jump in the water to swim. And I'm collecting the water, and all of a sudden, like, I just, all of a sudden, wanted to go for a swim. So I stopped collecting water, and I just went for a swim. So as I'm swimming, I'm just, like, swimming, enjoying the day, blah, blah, The My bucket was literally next to the, the sus, we call it a sus, where we collect the water, the drinking water, we call it a sus. If you translate it in English, it's called a source. Um, I'm swimming. The bucket is still by the sus. I'm just swimming all of a sudden I swim down in the and I my head went down in the water and then I lift my head back up and I saw this lady I'm not sure why but she was white she was like she wasn't Haitian to me she didn't look Haitian right she looked like she was a white lady and her hair was like strawberry blonde almost and she's like combing her hair and long 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 hair she's combing her hair she has this mirror in her hand and she's looking at herself in the mirror combing her hair and then she glanced at me i'm looking at her because i'm shocked at this point i'm not what the fuck is going on why is this lady just you know sitting in the water combing her hair and she looked like no one that i've ever seen before she looked like no one that looks like me so i'm staring at her mesmerizing her beauty she's so beautiful she has long hair you know she's combing her hair she's singing almost and yeah she's basically singing and she's looking at herself in the mirror she's looking at me she's looking at herself in the mirror and then she's looking at me and i'm just mesmerized by this lady's beauty and i think that's why i'm like so obsessed with mermaids and like goddesses and all that stuff just because of the experience of what i experienced when i saw her it was almost like time stopped and we were just looking at each other. She's looking at herself in the mirror. I'm looking at her. And then I blinked. I literally blinked for a second and she disappeared. She literally disappeared. I kind of, after I blinked, I wish I didn't because I, I wasn't done. You know what I mean? You know when you're like in the middle of something and you're just not done like looking at it? She just disappeared. I was so shocked that I didn't know what happened. I didn't know like how long I was there, what happened. All I know is a few seconds later, my cousin was calling my name. I went to go, you know, to him. Then we, he ended up, he had a whole bucket of water already filled up, wondering what was going on because I've been gone for so long. He didn't understand why I was gone for so long. I didn't understand that I was gone for so long. I, I It was a minute. I was looking at the lady. The lady was looking at me. All of a sudden, she disappeared, and my cousin started calling my name. Only for me to find out I was literally missing for like almost two hours. But I'm looking at the lady and she just disappeared. Then my cousin came and got me because obviously I was shocked. I didn't know what was going on. He came and got me, collect the water, and we went back home. Of course, we got in trouble because they were waiting on the water and we were gone for so long. But she just disappeared. And I was trying to explain to my cousin. He believed me because this is not the first time people have actually said that they've seen a mermaid before. But... Other people obviously probably wouldn't believe us because they probably would think that we're making it up because we're trying to cover for the time that we were missing. But 
he believed me because other people, like I said, have seen or have experienced the same thing. And from that day on, I told my best friend about it. And we continue to go to that same spot because that's just a common place people go swim. So, you know, we most people just go there every day just to go for a swim. And I just so happened to be there that day. And I saw her. So then my best friend and I continued to go to that same place. And then a few months later, her and I had the same experience. We saw her. Okay, so I saw your comment. And it says, read the book of Enoch. And it will tell you exactly what the mermaids are. Well, I have the book of Enoch. It's right here. I've been reading it for a while now. I'm a reader. I love reading. I actually read about 30 books a month. And the book of Enoch is a book that I keep going back to every single time. I've Actually, I started reading it in 2020, and I think I've read it about three times since 2020. So, yeah. Every time I read the book, I learn something new in it, and I'm glad that I bought it. Actually, I only bought it because when I told another friend of mine about the story, you know, with the mermaids, and she told me that she get the book. So, I got the book, and I'm glad I got the book. And it's funny that you mentioned that I should get the book. And I've, I've had it for such a long time. And I've read it about three or four times, actually. So, yeah, thanks for the reference.